Does anyone here have a birthday today? Oh, way back there. What is your name? Janet? Janet? Yeah. Okay, Janet. Uh, I'm going to light some candles in honor of Janet's birthday. Now, I only have five candles. You're probably a little older than that. I can't quite tell the glare of the lights. We're going to light five candles for Janet. Worth five candles in honor of Janet's birthday. Now, you may ask, well, why did I light those candles? Well, because I want to show you something that is really pretty unusual. I have back here a beaker. And uh, what is in this beaker? Air. Air? You sure? Water? It looks pretty empty, doesn't it? But let's see, try something. What if I pour it down here? Well, that's pretty remarkable. It looked like I was pouring a beaker that had air in it. But in fact, it didn't. This had carbon dioxide gas in it. Now, carbon dioxide is a gas that's about 50% heavier than air. So I could walk around with a beaker full of carbon dioxide, and it wouldn't go away. It doesn't rise and, and mix with the air that's surrounding it. Now, you may wonder how I got a beaker filled with carbon dioxide gas. And I did that starting with a solid. Do you know what the solid is called? That's right. It's called dry ice. Have you ever wondered why they call it dry ice? Why? That's right. It doesn't make things wet. In fact, uh, dry ice changes directly from a solid into a gas without ever melting. Do you know what that process is called? That's right. It's called sublimation. But it looks a little bit like a marshmallow, doesn't it? Here's a marshmallow. You can put it right next to it, and they look pretty similar. But one is very cold. Dry ice is at a temperature of about 109 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, or about 78 degrees below zero Celsius. It's really cold stuff. Uh, but it, um, it does undergo this process of sublimation. Does water ice sublimate? Well, in fact, it does. Have you ever noticed that when it snows, uh, even when it, the temperature doesn't warm up above freezing, little by little, the snow evaporates? Or have you noticed that when you put some ice cubes in your freezer, and then you don't use them for a few weeks, and you come back, they're gone? There's no puddle of water there. So water ice also will change into a gas under the right conditions and not melt. 